who was I talking to today? Dominique. I was talking to Dominique today, and I was thinking, because we were talking about some things around her life, and I thought maybe I might do a video on on this judgment thing and why it's so important. Is With my last video, I was describing what we do whenever we're asleep and how little of the of Gaia is left in the fourth dimension now. And the closer you actually get to fifth dimension, the more of a gap there will be between you and other humans on the planet. Because a lot of the people that were borderline people, uh, they went to 5D a long time ago. Okay, so the the ones that are left on the planet now are the hardcore sides. And there's very definitely, if you, if you read energies, there's a gap and the gap is getting bigger very, very rapidly. It's been doing it uh, a lot since 2012, but the last two or three years, it's becoming significant. And I think 2018 is going, it's going to ramp up big time. So... Uh, the ones that were in the middle and, and didn't know which way they were going to go, they chose sides as we came down here. So now what's left on the planet are the hardcore sides. There's the hardcore, uh, they're going to stay in 3D, 4D, and there's the ones that are heading off to 5D. Whether that, that this is a conscious decision or not, there's a big gap between what you would call the good guys and the bad guys, the service to self and the service to other side. Now, with our group, what we are trying to do is we're trying to combine them both. We're going to unity consciousness. But when you take out us per se, and the groups that are left are very definitely pushing those far, far right, far, far left, service to self and service to others. So in your process of heading towards 5D, you will probably lose... Uh, a lot of people that are very adamantly in their game. Which is why I really wanted to start this last round with non-judgment. And in the non-judgment game, if I cannot even say this enough, if every situation you will look at it like it is a game, I mean, just keep running that through your head over and over and over. So when you see them doing just absolutely as people have said over and over, and I agree, the most, these these actions and these, they say these things and they do these things that just appear to be pure insanity, then if you will completely switch perception, perspectives, and see that as a game, it will make it much, much easier, uh, that they're playing a role. And I was talking to Dominique about something. I can't remember what it was, but we were talking about how this this belief or this desire to live in a wonderful, loving, fantastic, great place. Uh, well, that's where you came from. And I think G-Man has, has said this too. Uh, you had everything you ever wanted. You've got it on the other side. This particular game is built on the opposite of that. So when you're dealing with these circumstances, these friends, these families, these jobs, uh, understand that you're not here to interfere with their game. This is a huge creation. And the entities that came here came here to play this game that is absolutely the opposite of unity consciousness. It is the opposite of you being a god. And that was why it was created. It was created to have the experience of the opposite of unity. It's got. It's created for the opposite of working together. It's the opposite of um, a collective thinking, uh, a collective well-beingness. Okay. So if you can try to remember that. And keep in mind your goal here and why you came. You came to help a specific entity, Gaia, make her transition eventually out of this creation altogether. Now, she's a planet, so she's going to be in time space for a much longer period of time than what you and I will be in human body form. And there's a really good chance that you probably will not come and spend the extended time that she will spend in the fifth dimension. 
but she's doing it from a different perspective in a different way of perceiving time space. She doesn't perceive time space like you do, just like a butterfly does not perceive time space like you do. Uh, to them, the life of a planet would be perceived very much like you perceive the life of a human. And the life of a butterfly is perceived much the same way as you perceive the life of a human. So try to keep that in mind. But the biggest picture here is you have come at the call of a friend and you are helping her make a transition through one part of this game to another part of the game. None of you star seeds that are listening to me and from what i can tell from any timelines who will ever listen to me are here to really really play the game you're here for a specific job you're here to experience it while you're you're here because we don't waste time no creator god wastes any time or any opportunity so you are taking advantage of this experience but there are reasons why you don't feel like this is home and why you feel claustrophobic and why you have trouble resting and and, 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 and. There's all of those reasons, and I've said these in my videos, to support you, to be supportive of you. But when you are watching these individuals, who you will be surrounded by, who are doing what, from your perspective, looks like pure insanity, then try to think of it that they are playing a video game. Or they are an actor in a movie. And if you go to the movies, people, you know, the long lines in the movies are the exciting movies, the action hero movies, the big bad guy versus the big good guy. There's a lot of ex there's a lot of excitement, a lot of stress, a lot of action. That's what this creation was made for. So you simply are coming to play a role in the middle of a bunch of people that are playing the game. And I know that you want to help them. I know you want to cure them. I know you want to love them. And you can do all of that, but just do it through the eyes of a knowingness that they are having this experience because that is what they wish to do and be supportive of that. And try like um, Creel. Did I say that right? Creel said in his video, that's why I'm making this video, is Try to disengage as quickly as you find that you're getting drawn into those lower vibrations or you're being manipulated because now in the fourth dimension, there's a lot of manipulation, thus the judgment, judgment, manipulation. So try to catch yourself uh, dropping in vibration. Try to try check yourself in being manipulated and then just pull back as quickly as you can and remember to look at it like it's a video game or like it's a movie and they're actors playing in a movie. Their goal is not to come here and create heaven on earth, as you would think of it. Their goal is to have this experience. This creation was made for that reason. It is meant to be the opposite of where we come from in unity consciousness when we gather together in a source collective, like thinking. Where all is joy and love. Uh, this is not the creation for that. This is, like I've said before, this are the extreme nut spirits that like to have the extreme experience of the opposite of what where we come from. Okay? Just, so just remember that it's not your job to uh, cure anything here. There's nothing that needs to be fixed. Uh, your job, you came to help Gaia make her transition from one dimension to another. And actually, you came to help her jump dimensions because she's jumping through or moving very quickly from third dimension to fifth dimension. So that's what your you came here to do. And if you can see it through those eyes, then you can see it more, it becomes more fascinating than anything. Uh, especially with no matter how hard you try, there's going to be quite a bit of amnesia, but still without amnesia, you have, uh, all of you star seeds have this gut sense of things and they don't have it. If you watch them, you can tell that they don't have that gut instinct of things. And in order to play the game that they've come to play, they had to get to the point where they did not have that gut instinct in order to play 
in this game and have the experience that they wanted. So um, hopefully the videos that I've given you will help you know that you're not alone, that you are different, and it does make sense. The place from your, your place that you're from is not like this. You are doing a superb job. Uh, no matter what you're doing in body while you're awake, you're doing a superb job helping uh, Gaia. You're doing exactly uh, what you were meant to come here and do, and you're doing it beautifully. Uh, you do have, you have taken on one of the harder roles here at the end, and you're doing it magnificently. Uh, you're not alone. You are loved. You are surrounded by an army of support, whether you can see them or not, feel them or not. Uh, not only on this planet, we're here for you, but you have loads and loads and loads of, of entities and beings that are supporting you before you came, while you're here, and when you leave as well. So just try to pull away from them as quickly as you can, and don't beat yourself up if you drop in vibration. Uh, just get yourself back as quickly as you can and try to look at them that they're in it for their game. They're in it for this experience. And it is it is a magnificent creation, unbelievable creation. It may not be our favorite, but it is very much many, many of them, especially the hardcore service to self people here. Those A lot of those on the planet right now are long, long-term human. And uh, they are very into this particular stage. So you're going to see a lot of narcissistic, uh, psychotic behavior. Um, but again, try to look at it from a different perspective. Understand that they're creator gods playing a role. They're playing a game, a rather intense game, an un overwhelmingly intense game. But that's what they're here for. Okay, guys? But we are finding each other. We'll support each other. Thank everybody so much for putting up the... Uh, the videos on the Naya Family Collective Station or channel. That is so, so awesome. And yes, I will. Uh, I'm in the process of talking to several people and I will come up with a way for us to talk together as a group. Um, I don't know how big the groups will be, but we'll schedule it so that there could be, we can come together and talk back and forth amongst ourselves. Okay. Uh, just give me a, a month or two to get it all worked out and <laughs> finagled around as I'm trying to teach myself techie stuff at the same time, I'm trying to put it together. But there's a lot of people that are trying to uh, help, and we're trying to include as many people around the planet as we can in this process. And uh, uh, after the first of the year, after I get that done, uh, then I think the rest of it will flow a lot smoother. But most of my energies is going to get this particular job done, and then we'll go into that second next round and then uh, the rest of it I think I'll just be traveling around the planet um, with all of you whether uh, awake or asleep and we'll be finishing this puppy up and then we'll end up in 5D together and we are going to party 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 and sing and dance and play and and I do love um, the intro what was that Greek Greece he put the intro with Jeremy's song before and after. Does anybody know how to show me how to do that so I can do that with my videos? Maybe somebody can give me a lesson. Or maybe on my trip, somebody can show me how. Maybe, Jeremy, you do production. Whenever I get there, show me how to do that. And I'll put it on my on my videos. I would love to have your song coming in and going out. Okay. All right. I guess that's enough of that. Um, huge hugs to everybody. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.